If you're new at the automation testing world or not, and you're just curious about what you must learn to stay on track with the last trends, you are in the right place. In this video, we will review what are the most popular test automation tools for web testing. Hi there, owls. Welcome back to Young Media, the channel where you can learn about software automation, technology in general, and marketing. Every single day, we are facing new challenges and things are going autonomous, quick, and looking for highly efficient improvements. The main idea of automation is to have a balance between agile and constant changes, but always meeting the quality requirements that the client is expecting. Automation testing is becoming necessary for all types of enterprises to automate their processes and it is crucial to choose the right automation framework. What is a test automation framework? A test automation framework is the scaffolding that is laid to provide an execution environment for the automation test scripts. A test automation framework provides us with the tools to develop, execute, and report the test automation script efficiently. With my own words, it is a kind of ecosystem, guidelines, coding standards, concepts, processes, practices, modularity, reporting mechanisms, test data injections, and a set of tools and technologies working together to provide us all the necessary stuff to automate our scripts. Once we know the basic concept of a test automation framework, we also know that everyone has their favorite automation tool. However, in this video, we're going to see in number terms which of them are the most used in the marketplace. All the data that you are going to see in this video was collected by the Apply Tools team and you can take a look at the article in the URL that I posted in the description of this video. Also, please subscribe if you want to be aware of more content like this. I will be more than happy to have you in my OWL community. Number 1. Selenium WebDriver Selenium drives a browser natively as a user would either locally or on a remote machine using the Selenium server, marks a leap forward in terms of browser automation. The Selenium framework officially supports the following browsers, Google Chrome, old versions, Mozilla Firefox 64 and newer, Edge 84 and newer, Internet Explorer 6 and newer, Opera 10.5 and newer, and Safari, 10 and newer. There is also a set of specialized browsers out there they are typically used in development environments. For example, the HTML unit driver, which is which is purpose is to headless browser emulator backed by Rhino. There has been a lot of discussion about the future of Selenium WebDriver, since there are a lot of new test frameworks in the marketplace. However, according to the data that Apple Tools collected, Selenium hasn't lost its momentum. Actually, Selenium is by far the most widely used web automation tool with around 75 of user, users actually using Selenium combined with Apple Tools. As we reviewed, Previously, Selenium WebDriver is one of the best automation tools with support for all major browsers used uh, right now in the market and we can manage to get our framework working based on different programming languages. We can mention Java, Python, c -sharp, Ruby, JavaScript and Kotlin. It is a differentiating factor since other web automation tools only provide support for a, for a limited number of browsers and a single programming language. I just want to let you know that I have a new playlist about Selenium WebDriver in this fabulous channel with a whole introduction of this technology and an installation guideline step by step to start to start working with this technology. If you want to get more information, just click on the card that you will see at the right upper corner of this video. Besides Selenium, we have a totally different set of automation tools based on JavaScript and we can take a look at the most popular ones. Cypress. 
Cypress is a next generation front-end testing tool built for the modern web. Cypress makes possible setup tests, write tests, run tests, and debug tests. Cypress is most often compared to Selenium, however, is both fundamentally and architecturally different. Cypress is not constrained by the same restrictions as Selenium, and this enables you to write faster, easier, and more reliable tests. Who uses Cypress? Their, their users are typically developers or QA engineers building web applications using modern JavaScript frameworks like, for example, Vue or uh, Angular. Cypress enables you to write all types of tests, for example, end-to-end -end tests, integration tests, and unit tests. Cypress is a kind of new automation test framework, however, it is one of the most used along with Apply Tools. 47% of their users are using this JavaScript framework. WebDriver IO WebDriver IO is a test automation framework that allows you to run tests based on the WebDriver protocol and Appium automation technology. It provides support for your favorite BDD or behavioral driven development and DDD test driven development test framework and it will run your tests locally or in the cloud using sales labs, browser stack, testing bot or lambda test. Apply Tools has detected that 25% of their users are using this JavaScript framework for test automation. Test Cafe. Last but not least, we have Test Cafe for automation testing. Test Cafe allows you to write tests using TypeScript or JavaScript with, with its modern features like async, await. You can get all the advantages of strongly typed languages like rich coding assistance, painless escapability, check as you type code verification, among others, by using TypeScript to write your Test Cafe tests. You will find an introduction of this beautiful language in this channel. If you want to get more information, just click on the card that you will see at the right upper corner of this video. There are 5% of the AppliTools Apli users using Test Cafe combined with AppliTools. This article mentioned a pair of tools to have in mind. Number one is Playwright, which was developed by Microsoft, and we have to start learning of it for sure. And the second one was Puppeteer, to generate PDF files among other tasks that we may face in our daily work. So for sure we have to take a look at them in this new year. In summary, the most used automation framework is Selenium WebDriver with support for the most used web browsers and languages, right? It is by far the most used in this year. The second one on the web automation framework that rules under the JavaScript frameworks is Cypress with a lot of potential and for sure we will have to cover a lot of these topics and in this channel. I'll try to uh, make a research and start uh, making videos about this amazing language. And the third one is WebDriver IO. I guess that we also can take a lot of it, of it, and for sure we will have more videos about this topic. So, in this video, we covered the web automation tools you must learn in the in this next year, and this is the start of a series of videos talking about automation tools for software testing. We can have a mm, review video for API tools, and we can have a, a variety of videos for um, mobile application testing, etc, etc. Um, as I told you before, I hope you subscribe to this channel to be aware of more interesting videos like this, and please let me know in the comments section below your thoughts about those technologies and if you think we need to add another one in this list. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you soon, goodbye.